reviewing the highest rated fragrances on Fragrantica for each nose. If you guys don't know Fragrantica, it is the main review website for the fragrance community online. This kind of video is quite fun for you guys because it not only teaches you about individual notes, I want to discuss them briefly, but also lets you be put onto some of the highest rated fragrances on Fragrantica by the community. Hopefully you check them out. We're going to be covering nine fragrances. You might be wondering why nine? That seems like an awkward number. That is because there are nine fragrances in our new upcoming release in Atrium in Mr. Elegance. We have now revealed the full note breakdown and essentially I'm going to go through each of the notes of Mr. Elegance, which is our mature um, masculine office fragrance. And basically I'm going to discuss each note and kind of review it and see, give you examples of where these notes exist in other places in the industry. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Hopefully you guys check out Mr. Elegance when it's available to pre-order for five days and end of January. There's a link in the description below to check it out. Let's begin the video. The first note is bergamot. Bergamot is a very common essential oil that acts as a top note in perfumery. It's sort of a citrus that's just in the middle of everything. You have the sharp and sour lemon on one side and then the gourmand and uh, alluring lime on the other side. And bergamot sort of in the middle. It kind of has the characteristics of all citrus citruses combined. If you think of orange as well, it kind of sits in the middle of everything. It is a very versatile fragrance note that works really well with pretty much all DNAs. And a classic fragrance with bergamot in it is Dior Homme Cologne, the 2022 bottle I have here. This is the new bottle, but to me, this smells exactly the same as the older uh, appearances of this fragrance. This is Dior's pure, unadulterated summertime fragrance. This is summer in a bottle. It smells like a freshly pressed lemonade, essentially. Like lemon, bergamot, and some light musks, but that's it really. It doesn't have much of a base or structure to this fragrance, meaning that the longevity really isn't there. This is a very top note heavy fragrance. You'll understand that bergamot is a top note, meaning it's there in the opening. It's very fresh and uh, invigorating but it goes away quickly. But this is beautiful. It's natural, smooth, and one of the best summertime fragrances out there if you don't mind reapplying. 32% of people who watch School of Scent are subscribed to us. If you guys want to see our channel grow, to really help us out, click subscribe. Let's get that number to 40%. Thank you. Then we have the note of eucalyptus, which is a tough note to find because it's not that common in perfumery, but it's sort of camphoraceous, it's outdoorsy, woody, cooling, sort of like that green cooling effect you can get from things like uh, menthol, for example, that's a very classic example. And rosemary can also be seen as camphoraceous, so it's that cooling herbal effect you get from some perfumes. In Mr. Elegance, it gives this masculine, natural perfumery in there that's very invigorating, it's nice for the office. And one fragrance that I tried out today for the first time is Zergeoff's Torino 22, which has this note in it. I've got it in my hand here, actually, right now, and it's a very interesting, unique summertime fragrance from Zergeoff. I definitely think you should check it out. It's a very unique take on the summertime perfumery. It's got notes like mate in there, it's warm, it's woody, it's warm, woody, ambery, kind of like, you're kind of throws me back to 40 knots, but 40 knots is, is salty and sharp, but this is more smoothed out. This is a very smooth, slightly aquatic, even though it's not on the note breakdown, it kind of smells a little bit aquatic, a little bit marine, green, uh, you can definitely tell the eucalyptus is there, it's a little bit green, a little bit uh, woody, warm, ambery, aquatic perfumer. I feel like it's a, it's a great summertime fragrance you can wear on either side of the seasons in like spring and in autumn as well. So I think it'd be good value for money. You get a lot of wearability out of it. I've gotten, given you a superficial review of it because I've only worn it once, but it seems like to be a long lasting fragrance as well. So Zergeoff, very rarely disappointed. One of the best niche brands out there. This seems like a good scent. The note of lime. Again, I previously mentioned this, that lime is seen as a more gourmand fragrance note. Perfumers say that when it's used in high amounts, it gives it a mouth-watering effect to your fragrance because if you imagine a real lime is very mouth-watering, it's very juicy, isn't it? And a, a classic fragrance that you will see it in is uh, Virgin Island Water by Creed, which is sort of like a pina colada summertime fragrance that lasts about four to six hours in my experience. Uh, it's usually quite highly rated, rated. I'm not sure if it's worth the money in my opinion. I think you really need to try it. And another one I want to mention quickly is Guerlain's Om, which I'm intending on buying. It sort of has this gin and tonic fresh uh, lime aspect in, in the opening then becomes a very clean musky fragrance. Not a very base heavy fragrance, it's not too long lasting, but it seems very versatile, clean, unique, beautifully blended as always by Guerlain. It lasts about six hours, so I think it's a great example of lime and perfumery. I think these two fragrances are some of the two to check out if you want to experience lime. And of course there's also Bohemian Lime by Goldfield and Banks, which is very much lime focused on a finger lime note, which is a little bit more luxurious for a lime note, but doesn't have the best rating for a grand I wasn't sure if I was going to mention it in this video, but you can also check that out. The note of rose. Rose itself is one of the most classical notes in perfumery. It's sort of a perfume in and of itself. The essential oil of a rose often will have over 100 constituents in it in itself, sort of like having 100 ingredients in there already. 
was a complex natural note in perfumery and there's lots of different variations as well. You get more honeyed rose, you can get more spicy rose and everything in between. And uh, in Mr. Elegance, we actually use our own unique rose note that only uh, John Stephen has exclusive access to. So it's quite interesting. I think it smells masculine in this uh, scenario for Mr. Elegance. I'm going to review Declaration d'un Soir by Cartier because although it's discontinued, you know, I wanted to check that fragrance out because we work obviously, obviously on this rose fragrance ourselves. Uh, I wanted to see what other rose perfumery was out there. Mr. Elegance is different to uh, Declaration d'un Soir. They're not really the same, but I think Decoration Dun Soir also works as a mature man's office scent, but it's in its own different way. It's a very smooth and soapy scent with a rose and a hint of spiciness in there, a hint of pepper and woods that kind of balances it out and makes it masculine enough to be worn by a man. I think otherwise all the other notes will make it more feminine. I could have included Toy Boy in this part of the video, but I kind of talk about it all the time. I want to talk about Decoration Dun Soir. I tried it for this project with Mr. Elegance. I think it's a really nice fragrance. It lasts about six to eight hours. It's a beautiful office scent. So if you can get, can get a bottle, I know it's discontinued, it's beautiful. I actually think it's really good perfumery. It's a shame it's gone now. The notes of Oris, not Iris. You know, in Iris perfumery, 95% of the time, well, I'm guessing here, but around, you know, the vast majority of the time, you are not getting the real stuff. Iris is not the note in natural perfumery. Iris is the synthetic replication of the real natural note, which is Oris. The, it's not the flower part of the plant that produces the scent, it is the root. And Oris is very different to Iris, similar in a way how real oud is very different to synthetic oud. Once you smell the real stuff, it's very easy to tell the difference. Real Oris is multifaceted, so it does have that powdery aspect you'd expect, but also has a woody aspect, a fruity aspect, as well as this earthy and waxy, buttery aspect, because the material itself is Oris concrete, Oris butter. It's extremely labor intensive, very long, uh, period of time needed to actually harvest it around five years so that is why it's one of the most expensive ingredients in perfumery and in Mr. Elegance we use the second highest grade of Oris butter in there so this is high amount of the second highest grade and it's a high grade as well so it's why, that's why our price had to go up for this. this is our most expensive formula Oris itself is a very rare note to find you don't really see it often so you need to spend a lot of money usually to access it. Amouage Interlude Black Iris. I've talked about this phrase before as a winter scent this is a 10 out of 10. Some of the best perfume you'll ever smell. Dark, ambery, smoky, oud and oris in here. Really enticing and really just deep. There's a lot of depth in here. This is complexity in a bottle. I think it's gorgeous, very dark, it's very Middle Eastern. And uh, I think it's just it's very smooth as well. You just really have to appreciate excellent perfumery. This is not easy perfumery, this is for the kind of person who really appreciates the art of it all. In Mr. Elegance, we also have another mid note called Cystus, and Cystus has several species as a flower family, and it's related to uh, labdanum. And labdanum sort of gives an ambery uh, note to a fragrance, a sweet ambered out, and depends on which species you use, what kind of effect you get from it. You can get a leathery effect from it, you get a smoky effect. But uh, the Cystus, I think that John Stephen has used, is quite clean and ambery. It does give an ambery, sweeter touch to uh, Mr. Elegance, sort of in the same way that you get a clean and professional office scent from Eau Sauvage Parfum, but it's an ambered out scent as well. So it does have an amber uh, touch to this fragrance. And again, a rare note, probably an expensive note. John Stephen loves his expensive naturals. So it's rare to find this, but I found it in this fragrance here. This is Amouage's Jubilation 40. I didn't give this a 10 out of 10, I give this an eight and a half out of 10 because it's a very expensive fragrance that I wish has performed better. This is the performance that kind of lets it down, but the scent is pretty much perfect. Fruity, ambery, real oud, but made with a lot of complexity, a lot of high and expensive notes as well. Maybe not as challenging as Interlude Black Arts. I feel like this is easier. I feel like this is a fantastic signature. If you can run that kind of money, that 400 pounds, you would love this. I mean, for 400 pounds, the issue is the performance should be more than eight hours. I got eight hours of soft media projection. I got some, I got a compliment already wearing this for the few times that I've worn it. It smells gorgeous. This is just a luxurious signature. It's one of the best scent profiles out there, so I can see why it was high, rated so highly in, uh, in on Fragrantica. I think this is beautiful. It's at least worth checking out, especially if you love Middle Eastern perfumery. Cedarwood. This is a classical woody note in perfumery. You can get different variations again. You get the dry pencil shavings uh, cedarwood from things like Santal 33, or you get the more traditional clean cedarwood, which I think Mr. Elegance has the very easy to like woody note in there. And it's a big part of the fragrance. It's what makes it a Woody Sheepra as his fragrance family for this fragrance. It is gorgeous, clean, woody, masculine perfumery. This fragrance here is a classical cedar fragrance. 
It is spicy, woody ambers, and I feel like cedar just works really well in that kind of family. That is YSL's Lanouis de L'Homme Bleu Electric. One of the highest rated fragrances on Fragrantica, probably due to the fact that it's kind of revived the glory days of the original Lanouis de L'Homme. Made it more modern, smooth, more long lasting, versatile. This is a sexy signature to wear. The woodiness is sort of a supporting character. It's not as main, uh, main not as, as prominent as in something like Mr. Elegance, but it's definitely there. You can tell it's a woody fragrance that just balances it out. It's just a safe, solid base note to use in perfumery. But overall, you do get this juicy citrus cardamom perfumery in here. It's really sexy. I think it's one of the best fragrances ever made to this day, actually. I, you know, I know it's designer. It's, it's, it's very easy to love, but I think it's just it's so massively well blended. It is a classic for a reason. Oak Moss, another classic base note that was used more in the olden days of perfumery because nowadays it's seen as an allergen, so it's a lot more heavily restricted. But overall, it gives a very handsome, fuzzy, woody, sort of mossy character to a fragrance, as you'd imagine. I think it's a really sexy fragrance. I think it's super handsome. It's one of the best notes to my nose, in my opinion, really. But um, it's not a huge uh, player in Mr. Elegance. It's sort of a supporting role, sort of rounds out the fragrance, and it's needed to classify something as a woody sheepra. But if you want to really smell an oak moss heavy fragrance, you go for something like Nishani's Hashivat, which to me is sort of an even more intense Aventus. It's more intense on the pineapple and it amps up this oak moss, which gives an interesting, more mature, mossy character. It makes it a little bit more masculine, even more masculine than it was already. And it gives great longevity to the fragrance. Everyone knows Hashivat's very fruity, juicy, high quality, and lasts a long time for a freshie, around 14 hours, which is very impressive. That's why Hashivat is widely loved. It is a great fragrance, you should definitely check it out. And then lastly, patchouli, which I love. I think it's one of my favorite, other favorite fragrance notes as well. So I'm glad it's in Mr. Elegance also, but I, again, I think it's a supporting character. It rounds it out and is needed as well for a Woody Sheepra uh, Accord. But it is a beautiful note. It is uh, one of the, you know, nature's most common fragrance oils. A lot of hippies used to wear it back in the day, which kind of uh, may, may, may have, uh, you know, sway people's opinion on, of it um, because of uh, what it's associated with, but on its own, it's a gorgeous note. It's very earthy, green, sweet perfumery, it adds darkness and allure to a fragrance. And I just think, yeah, in dark perfumery, it works really nicely, but you can also get clean and more bright uh, variations of patchouli, which I probably think uh, Mr. Elegance has used, but I'd have to confirm that. But patchouli is generally seen and associated with dark perfumery. This is one of the best dark fragrances to ever exist. This is Parfum de Marley's Carlisle. I think this easily deserves the higher rating on Fragrance. It's one of my favorite cold weather fragrances. It is dark spiced apple pie vanillic rose perfumery. It is complex, mature, intense, it's truly niche perfumery. I think this really stands out in the Parfum de Marley's brand, which is already a fantastic brand in and of itself. So this standing out even in PDM is even more impressive. It's got fantastic longevity, 14 hours of media projection. You experience the darkness of the patchouli in here the longevity that patchouli gives. And you use patchouli to high amounts. It's not like oak moss. I believe it's a very safe note so perfumers can really go heavy with it. And that concludes this video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video and the different notes we've discovered and explored today. And hopefully I've given you some good examples to go and uh, smell if you want to check them out. Hopefully you guys also have a, more of an appreciation of what Mr. Elegance will smell like. Of course, as always, with all pre-orders of our fragrances, we give you a free spray sample to try the fragrance before opening the main product to see if it's uh, right for you. If you're a mature, confident, well put together man who wants to get a great, unique office fragrance, something that is inoffensive, but still full of character and it's extremely expensive smelling as well, then Mr. Elegance is very likely going to be for you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out our previous video on reviewing the highest rated fragrances on Fragrantica. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.